Judith Lieber's handbags took off in 1953 when Mamie Eisenhower carried her beaded evening purse to the inaugural ball. Since then, her name has been associated with elegance, sophistication, and a quality product. Lieber started her career before World War II, making handbags out of all types of traditional materials like leather and fabric. But she fell in love with metal as her preferred creative medium after a trip to Italy during the 1960s. These bags blurred the lines between art and fashion, sculpture and handbag. I thought it would be a very good idea to be able to make bags that were metal. And when we came to Italy and uh, made a drawing, and from that drawing they made a little purse shape. And that was very pretty. It was the first metal bag I ever made. And I loved it so much that I kept working on it forever. She was inspired by the beauty and magic of the things she saw around her and recreated everything from fruit to Buddhas to perfume bottles and even her husband's work in her bedazzled clutches. To this day, her bags remain red carpet status symbols. Much of the commercial success of her brand can be attributed to her husband, Gerson Lieber, who pushed her to open up her own factory in 1963. The uh, company she was working with, Nettie Rosenstein, the boss decided to go t take his uh, factory to Florence, Italy. Then my wife was out of a job. So I said, we don't want to subject ourselves to other people like this. It's time that we went into business and became independent. The couple met in Budapest, where Mr. Lieber was sent to serve as a GI near the end of World War II. While stationed in Budapest, Mr. Lieber started to study art seriously. His education, like his wife's, was traditional. Well, in Hungary, there were no Picassos. And there were no Matisse's, but there were some very fine uh, painters. I have had a, a traditional education in art, and uh, I, I worked that way. But as time went on, a great deal of time went on, I was influenced very much by other painters, both domestic and and foreign, like Picasso and so forth. He never stuck to just one type of medium and enjoys working with charcoal, paints, and clay. At 95, he is still painting, but he's less concerned with actual representation of his subject matter. His later pieces are more vibrant and abstract than his earlier work. When I was younger and I was full of energy, I painted every day. But now, at my age, my energy is it's very low. It's given me plenty of time to reflect on my art. Starting in 2005, the couple began buying back their pieces and putting them on display in their own museum. Mrs. Lieber with her wearable art and Mr. Lieber with his collection of sculptures, drawings, and paintings. The Lieber collection will remain on display here at the Long Island Museum until June 4th. The collection will then return to the Lieber's personal museum in East Hampton. For Stony Brook News, I'm Rebecca Sherry.